Chief Medical Officer Dr. Roshan Parasram says the combination of Johnson & Johnson vaccines followed by a Pfizer booster is an approved combination by the World Health Organization. The assurance came after Minister of Health Terence Dialsing announced that those given the Johnson & Johnson vaccine in the first instance would have a choice of either another dose of Johnson & Johnson or Pfizer as their booster shots. Speaking during Saturday's COVID-19 health update, Dr. Parasram said vaccine combination choices are based on safety and efficacy. So Johnson & Johnson followed by Johnson & Johnson. If you had no adverse reactions following your first vaccination with your Johnson & Johnson, generally speaking, your second dose tends to be a little bit milder in terms of the side effect profile. You know you have tolerated that vaccine well. So in terms of safety, you don't add a new vaccine into your system at that point in time. Dr. Parasram said mixing of vaccines have been shown to be slightly more effective, but he urged the vaccinated public to get more information from their physicians. He said at this time, Sinopharm vaccine should only be followed by a Sinopharm booster shot. So far, Sinopharm, is, has, that has not been done for Sinopharm. Sinopharm, um, from the company themselves as well, have, they have urged that we go Sinopharm, followed by Sinopharm, and then a third Sinopharm later on. So in terms of safety and efficacy data, it has not been approved as yet. So we go with this, the, what you call homologous, which is one of the same, followed by the others. Paris will be informed if the booster shot combination for Sinopharm vaccines have changed.